Hey, I'm Dave, and this is How to 3D Print with PETG. PETG is a really common material these days. You've seen it in water bottles, food products, and, and countless other things that we use on a daily basis. From a 3D printing standpoint, PETG is great because it has the mechanical and rigidity properties of ABS with the ease of printing of PLA. Printing with PETG results in really strong and durable parts with just the right amount of flex. Let's take this vase for instance. Super strong, super rigid at the bottom where it's got some mechanical structures to it, but at the top you can see it gives just the right amount. One of my favorite things that I've seen designed is actually this little electronics closure. So this is just a little clamshell feature and PETG is really known for its snap fit features. So you can see we've got some little ridges around the edge here that meet and mate with the lower half and these things going together, just listen to it. It's a perfect snap fit closure. And then it turns this clamshell design into one piece. It's really awesome. As I said, printing with PETG is remarkably easy. It has many of the same properties as PLA with slightly higher extrusion temperatures. You're gonna to wanna to start at about 230 degrees C, going up to 260 is still within the normal range for PETG. Printing on blue tape, really easy, right on a cold bed. If you wanna use a heated bed and print onto glass, Start at about 50 degrees C and use just a touch of hairspray. That should work out really well for you. To get printing with PETG right now, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.